Good afternoon. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Craig Mo, Mayor of the City of Laurel. First, I want to thank the dedicated and hardworking city employees for their efforts in preparing and addressing the coronavirus issues that are affecting our community. This is a public health emergency we are dealing with here in the city, and I want to thank the Laurel community for your patience and understanding as we work through this multitude of issues surrounding this health event. The situation surrounding the coronavirus is changing rapidly, but we are preparing and we want to make sure our workforce in the Laurel community is safe and ready to address the challenges that the virus will bring to our community. We always prepare for the worst and hope for the best. We continue to monitor and work with the public safety and health officials at the county, state, and federal levels of government. Coordinating with the city's health officer and the guidance from the CDC, state, and county public health departments, the city is following our pre-planned contingency plans and have developed and implemented a coronavirus workforce action plan to provide the guidance and procedures for keeping our employees and the public as safe as possible. The city is pushing out the same critical messages and information from CDC, Maryland State Health Department, and the Prince George's County Health Department regarding the coronavirus outbreak. This afternoon, we are taking additional steps to ensure that the public is educated, updated, and prepared. I want everyone to understand we do not want you to panic. We understand the unknown is scary and it creates anxiety. But please know the City of Laurel is here to assist you in your time of need. We have an action plan and we stand ready to assist. My job as mayor is to protect the health, safety, and welfare of the Laurel residents, businesses, employees, and visitors. The City of Laurel has followed and will enforce the governor's executive orders, directives, and policies to keep us all safe. Let me update you on what the city has been doing. Our city's emergency operations center is staffed and open. I signed an executive order 2020-02 on March the 13th entitled Declaration of City Emergency and Public Health Emergency. The second executive order 2020-03 was also signed on March the 13th entitled City of Laurel Operations during a civil emergency and the existence of a public health emergency. I will be signing a third executive order later today dealing with city operations. Let me take just a few minutes and let you know what else is happening and what orders we must all be following. Effective today, March the 16th, 2020, starting at 5 p.m., all bars, restaurants, gyms, and movie theaters are to be closed. Drive-through and carry-out services will be allowed to continue. Following CDC guidelines, setting of 50 or more individuals will be prohibited across the state, which includes the City of Laurel, which also includes all social and recreational events and religious and sports gatherings. Residents, businesses, and visitors should know that we continue to evaluate the delivery of essential services to the community during the city's emergency declaration. The following actions took place at 9 a.m. this morning on March the 16, 2020. All city offices will remain open. However, service delivery will be conducted online or by telephone. All city boards, commissions, and committee meetings are suspended until further notice. When possible, in-person meetings and hearings will be conducted by teleconferences. All access to city buildings, interior recreational facilities, and the Laurel Police Department will be restricted to city employees only. Access to the Office of Finances and Closed Payment Services window, located in the main lobby of the Laurel Municipal Center, will remain open for the city payment and bill services and passport applications only. The practice of city staff taking pictures for passport applications has been suspended until further notice. All community meetings are suspended at the Laurel Municipal Center and all city facilities until further notice. All non-essential, work-related, out-of-state travel for city employees is suspended until further notice. The Office of the Fire Marshal and Permit Services 
will continue new construction inspections. However, any inspection required to be performed inside occupied homes or commercial slash business buildings are discontinued until further notice. All videotaping or program required by the Department of Communications that requires staff to enter any occupied home or commercial or, or business building is suspended until further notice. At the direction of the city administrator, these directors may be waived as necessary to benefit the city of Laurel and its government. The city of Laurel Police Department and the Department of the Fire Marshal and Permit Services will enforce the governor's executive order as well as the mayor's executive order. We will be working to get out information on flyers on the coronavirus. As always, please visit the city's website at cityoflaurel.org for updated information. We have also set up a senior informational hotline for seniors to call and ask questions. That number is 240-517-7974. Let me repeat that for the seniors. 240-517-7974. And any of this material that I have updated you on may change at any time, so please continue to check back. That is the latest from the Laurel Municipal Center. I look forward to bringing you these weekly updates to keep you informed on the latest city efforts regarding the coronavirus. And please feel free to contact my office if I can be of service to you. Thank you.